passion is a very overwhelming, overpowerful sensation that makes you feel so alive and so wonderful and so like involved in yourself and like your own little world is incredible. And I believe that everybody should know this passion and have a passion. And even if it's like a little passion, you don't really notice it, it's overwhelming how wonderful it really can become. Take for instance sports, like I'm not really a big sports fan, I don't really understand sports, I don't really know what's going on, there's a ball, I watch the ball go. But I have so much respect and admire football players and soccer players, and I love watching them and the fans because they get so pumped up and they're so proud of what they do and they're so like dedicated and they know what they're doing, they know what they're going after, and people are so supportive. And you see, I work at a bar, and every football Sunday we get slammed. People with blue paint on their face, blue jerseys. I write down the ticket, blue shirt. Everyone has a blue shirt. Everyone's wearing the same number of jersey. But there's this one woman in particular who is screaming at the top of her lungs. And she out yells all the guys. Oh, yeah, she does. People complain to her owner and says, can you shut her up? But I like her. I like her enthusiasm. I admire her. I wish I was that energetic about sports. I don't really know what's going on. But it makes me want a football team. I don't even understand how people pick a football team. Like, I'm from Florida. You know how many Florida teams there are and how people hate each other? Like, I don't understand how to pick one. But I want to have that passion of football because passion is just such an amazing thing that everyone should have and feel in their own way. Personally, I'm a theater nerd and I'm all about the adrenaline of theater and being on the stage and like having the crowd and getting the emotions out of people. But everyone has their own particular type of passion that they get into. There's music, you can be involved with music, it takes you a different world, it takes you in your own world, a place that's like all of your own. There's um, my best friend, Kristen, she reads books. It's a, her passion, it's a different type of passion than mine. I like the adrenaline. She likes the passion of being in her own world, being by herself, just very into it. Then her friend Tammy, she writes books. So she's in her own world and she gets an adrenaline creating these stories. Other people create music, some people just listen to the music. And um, when I'm in theater and I like, like to be my own character, it's like revealing something about myself and like learning something new about myself. I understand my own little world, and the other stuff's going on. Fishermen, they go on these boats so that like they're in their own little world and they're escaping. It's somewhere you run to when you're happy. It's somewhere you run to when you're sad. It's somewhere you run to when you're distressed. Um, there's, I was in this play called Voices, and there's this character, Kate, and she said, um, I wanted to be very good at something because one skill can never be taken away. Your passion, that's yours. No one can ever take that away from you. It's all yours. And when I first started writing in this paper, or my speech, it was very hard for me to start because I had all these ideas like, oh, I'm going to do this, oh, I'm going to do that, oh, I'm going to do this. But then when I sat there and started like really brainstorming, all of the pieces were scattered because I've been without my passion for so long. It's been about, I did a play like a year ago, but it wasn't that great. And I just miss it so much. Like I want to major in theater. I want to do this the rest of my life. And I don't want to lose it. Like I feel like it's already so far gone. And Robin Williams said, you only get one little spark of madness. Don't lose it. Like don't let that go. Like when you find your passion, don't let it slip away. Don't like, yes, focus on real life, but always remember that like, that kind of keeps you alive. Like when you're in a relationship and you get to the point where you're married and you hear that people are bored and you hear old guys make jokes about, oh, my wife, like that's why I started drinking. You don't want that. Like life, that's like your spark of life is your passion. You don't want to like go through life bored, like a relationship with bored. You need that chemistry, you need that spark. And that's what passion does for your life. And don't be scared to go after it. Jim Carrey, he, his dad was a comedian. And he loved being a comedian. He loved comedy. But he was scared. He didn't want to go after it. He's like, oh, I'll get a job. Oh, might as well play it safe. But then he ended up losing his job. And then he failed anyway. And he's in the same spot he would have been if he would have went after it and failed. Who's to say he wouldn't have made it? So that's why Jim Carrey is who he is today. Because he wasn't going to sit around and determine, oh, I'm going to go through life bored and do the like, responsible thing. Like, what to say comedy isn't responsible? Like, what isn't that to say that that's the right path for you? So have a passion, keep the passion, don't lose it. Like, keep that spark that you have with life and with the world and with yourself, because that means a lot to you. Like, once you find it, you're gonna realize like, wow, like, this is incredible. And then once you're without it, it's kind of like your first love, but it's like the relationship with yourself. Like, you miss that, you want it back. And I can't imagine
imagine going dressed in their life without acting. 